How does magma form? What happens to it when it comes out of the volcano? As the surrounding mantle rocks are heated up by the core, they become less dense. Thus, they rise through the mantle and towards the crust, creating a mantle plume. The temperature seems high enough to cause rocks to melt, but they remain solid at those temperatures because the rock is under high pressure. The melting temperature of mantle materials is affected by the pressure on the rocks, the presence of water in the surrounding mantle, and the minerals found in the rocks that melt. A different mechanism may cause rock to melt to produce magma. Melting triggered by a reduction in pressure when mantle rock rises due to convection or overlying crust thins is called decompression melting. While melting aided by the addition of water or other fluid, wherein the melting points of the minerals within those rocks decrease, is called flux melting. The magma produced by partial melting moves to the lower crust. The hot magma interacts with the surrounding rock. This transfer of heat leads to partial melting of the crustal rock. The result is magma with a different composition. Magmas formed in the mantle may consist primarily of iron, magnesium, calcium, oxygen, and silicon. While magmas formed in the crust are dominated by oxygen, silicon, aluminum, sodium, and potassium. All magmas have varying proportions of lighter elements such as hydrogen, carbon, and sulfur. As this magma continues to rise to the surface, it forms a pool of magma. Some of it may feed the volcanoes on Earth's surface, and the ejected magma, now called lava, remains molten and flows across the ground until it cools and solidifies into extrusive igneous rocks. While those that remain trapped below harden into intrusive igneous rocks.